Okay guys, it is time for a new update here on the Bitcoin price. As you guys know, I am still remaining in my newly opened short hedge position from my last video. The question now is, is it maybe time to close this short hedge position finally after our potential M pattern didn't play out that I mentioned in our last video? Or is it time to even scale up this short position and be prepared for a bigger dump to come down to the $25,200 to $25,300 level? Let's talk about this now, just as a small recap from our last Last video what we have be, uh, what have we been talking about we have been talking about this very important daily resistance zone that we have right above us since four days Bitcoin is struggling to even enter this resistance zone we have talked about on the weekly time frame our next price target which is the $33,000 level where really a big big amount of resistance is coming in not only from our 11 year support and resistance no also from our horizontal weekly support and resistance that has many many touch points here actually in the past year and 2021 actually and besides that we also want to for sure talk about a, a bullish scenario in which I would for sure scale up my swing long positions once again but now let's not talk too much thank you as always for your support thank you for liking thank you for subscribing thank you for leaving a comment down below and now let's not talk too much but let's just jump right into the charts. As I already mentioned, on the daily time frame, we, we haven't really seen any changes. I mean, if we are closing this daily candle in the next 15 hours like this, it would definitely be a bearish closing daily reversal candle. But let's take a look on the smaller time frames to find out how likely this is. I really need to hurry up with this video because the scenario I am talking about is actually occurring right now during this video. Because what have we seen, guys? In our last video, we talked about this potential M pattern. We shorted exactly the top up here. Because of this daily resistance above us, we opened a new short hedge trade. And now this M pattern actually got invalidated, right? I mean, everybody that was following the charts saw that pretty much that we actually bounced off our upward sloping support line here. We bounced off it and pretty much invalidated the M pattern by that. And even a second try, even a fake out out of this now forming ascending triangle here was unsuccessful for the bears. The only thing that we saw here is that the bears still have the interest in breaking this normally bullish chart pattern, this ascending triangle which is a bullish continuation pattern to the downside and we saw it already once now the first time the bulls all all had interest in buying this uh, price up again and this fake out up again and we corrected into the pattern once again now what are we seeing another breakdown from uh, getting initiated from the bears and this is actually very very dangerous because we can already say that i mean the bears want to push the price down not only did we have an m pattern we have a potential triple top here for example as well if we are just looking at that we have a potential triple top right below daily resistance and why is that even relevant for us because guys as said already now the thirty-three thousand dollar is our next target on the weekly time frame but we pump massively within the last three weeks already so normally nothing goes up in a straight line and we need to see corrections for a healthy market and since we just broke highly important weekly resistance to the upside what resistance am i talking about the twenty five thousand uh, the $25,200 to $25,300 level. We just broke above this recently. And the likelihood of a retest of that resistance that now should have turned into support if the bulls are in control of the market, right? And we can expect the next bull run to start now. We should see a retest of this support and resistance. And I mean, what is the scenario? I mean, for sure, if we are expecting a weekly retest, we want to see on the daily time frame where our next resistance and resistances are and where our weekly candle ca could be stopped while our price target on the weekly candle is still remaining higher at the $33,000 level right now. And yes, it is actually exactly the $28,800 to $31,800 range it is a very very big resistance range actually but nevertheless right now we are breaking below the uh, ascending triangle once again so you want to probably know now when is it time to close the short hedge position when is it time to scale it up since the m pattern was invalidated we sadly don't really have a clear scale up scenario yet i will let you know in my upcoming videos as soon as i decide one when i want to scale up this short hedge position but more importantly when 
am I going to exit this position? Because if we see now, once again, that the price reverses back into the pattern, reverses back into the ascending triangle, this would definitely show that the bears tried two times their hardest to break this bullish continuation pattern to the downside to get maybe a nice long liquidation squeeze. But if we are now getting bought back into the pattern, this would show that the bulls have massive, massive interest in buying these fake outs. And this would mean for me that I would get very, very cautious about the $28,400 level, where our horizontal resistance is based at for this ascending triangle. For sure, I won't close my short position instantly when we see maybe a wick or the hourly candle starting to bump above this resistance. But I can already tell you that if we are closing a four hourly candle above this $28,400 level, if we are closing a four hourly candle above that, I am actually going to exit my short hedge position for now. I will take some losses. Most likely it will be a few thousand dollars actually potentially depending on high, how, how high the four hourly candle pumps before closing. But especially if the four hourly candle closes above the $28,800 level, I mean, this is for sure then for me a sign to exit this short hedge position for now and wait how the price interacts then within this support and resistance zone established on the daily time frame a relatively long time ago when everybody was expecting the bear market bottom to actually come in. That's why we also saw this massive wick. So this is nevertheless a very, very interesting traded price zone, even though we were in it only for a short amount of time. We had very high volumes uh, in that trade zone just because a lot of people were expecting the bottom to be in there for our current bear market, which we didn't, as you know, I'm calling pretty much since beginning of last year that the 16 to 14 thousand dollar level will be the bottom in my opinion which so far was more than correct i would say it was it was actually a perfect prediction since i mean we uh, actually yeah pretty much uh, um, uh, closed directly below the $16,000 level. I know $16,000 to $14,000 is not a small range, but looking at the prices from $60,000 to uh, from $60,000 to $15,000, I think my call uh, calling the bottom at $16,000 to $14,000 was still a very, very good one, although we only saw two weeks into that area, right? But now, as said, let's jump into the smaller time frames once again. And uh, uh, I will let you know now to the, for the end of the video again, just the, the scenarios. Guys, we are keeping our short hedge position. We are only closing it if this should result in another fake out here, if we should come back into this pattern, if we should see a four hourly candle closing significantly above this ascending triangle, potentially in the, in the best, in the worst case, pretty much for us, but also in the best case, since this is only a short hedge position, right? We have swing long positions. We have our HODL portfolio. Overall, we are making a lot more profit if Bitcoin pumps. Nevertheless, just looking at our short hedge position, we would be closing it in the case that a four hourly candle closes above the $28,800 level. This is when I'm definitely going to exit my short hedge position. And if now this fake out or potential breakdown out of this bullish continuation pattern should come true if we see a rejection now in the next hours here again from this uh, upward sloping support and resistance of this ascending triangle and we are falling and closing another one hourly candle below the old low point of our initial breakdown so we are seeing a confirmed breakdown breakdown in this case i would for sure upload a video tomorrow or the day after depending on how long this takes to update you on potential price levels where we can actually start scaling up our short hedge position here, our new one, which, as you know, is right now having a margin of $22,000. I mean, with our last two short hedge position, we made a total of $260,000 in profit alone. So we are really not risking anything big here. And I'm definitely ready to take some more risks in scaling up this position if this bearish scenario, which is definitely normally more unlikely now, plays out but yeah we are breaking down to the downside once again um yeah just because i mean on the on the weekly time frame we have pumped so massively on the daily time frame we are seeing some resistance above us so it will remain a very very exciting time here but if we break to the upside i mean on the weekly time frame as said thirty three thousand dollars we will pump to the upside a lot so i definitely want to exit this short hedge trade if we get rejected 
our downside target is also very high. So the next move will have a lot of volatility and I want to be prepared for both scenarios as always. But now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, yeah, leave a comment down below as well. I really appreciate that and then we are going to see us in the next video. Till then, bye.